all the dead trees. They used to be happy little trees. And then I killed them. Well, not all of them. Greetings, my friends. It is I, Kolar the Unkilled. And today I shall show two mods, mainly, all the dead trees and Cat Mojo unique grasses. All the Dead Trees is a dark fantasy tree replacer put out by Skyfall, which uses Happy Little Trees as a foundation for half the models. The other half of the models are all dead, unless you're in the Hjalmarsh area where virtually all trees are dead. Skyfall credits many other mod authors for their textures and tree models. I shall have them all listed at the end of this video. And thus we shall travel to the various regions throughout Skyrim to see how the trees look. And as we do, we'll also take note of the grass, specifically Cat Mojo's grass put out by Clofus. It is his latest effort, and it is designed to be a lightweight grass replacer. As we can see here in the rift, it is heavily laden with leaves fallen from trees gripped within the deadly cold of autumn. And here's what the bark looks like up close. As you can see, even getting right up on this particular tree model, the texture holds up. So this is the rift, my friends. Let us now look elsewhere to see what we can find. Here is what it looks like if you use Autumn of Whiterun. What a difference this makes. It gives the whole area a completely different feel. So the description for All the Dead Trees mentions that it retextures the Gilder Green inside of White Run as well. I do want to see that, so that is where I'm headed next. I have had Autumn of White Run in my load order, my friends, for centuries. I just can't get over how much of an effect it has on the overall look and atmosphere of Whiterun, but I have never seen it look like this. All the dead trees and happy little trees, of course, are contributing their models and textures to the Autumn of Whiterun mod. Since Autumn, well, it places trees, but it doesn't contain any special tree textures of its own. I know your family's honor is important to you. Now let's have a look at this. It took me weeks to find that Ooh. I can't get the sword of my own. That's much more realistic. I wonder what it looks like once we restore it. What with your nose better so far? Oh, that is very impressive. So here, my friends, is a grand spot for me to show just why I believe this grass mod is so damn good. Here we are in the White Run Tundra over by Swindler's Den. And there's all this variety, all the greens, the browns, various grasses and shrubbery all cohabitating or competing, if you will, for the limited amount of water that we have here on the tundra. Look at the dryness. If I had one complaint, it might be the relative sparsity. There are large areas where there is no grass covering the ground, where at other times I feel there would be. 
And yet the Skyland ground cover texture is good enough in and of itself that I don't actually mind. And you know, you know I always like to bring out the fantasy aspect of my Skyrim. And yet, sometimes realism can assist with that. A realistic game is fantastic, and that is what I see here, my friends. And although it might not be as pretty as some of the other grass mods in the Tundra area, it's just so damn realistic. And that, to me, makes it worth it. Here we are in Hjalmarsh, my friends, and this, this is a great look for the area. It's very fitting. And look at the quality of this marsh grass. This, this is extremely good marsh grass. That is one of the areas that can sometimes get neglected when it comes to grass overhauls. This is excellent. What an amazing job. Thum out to Clophis. This might be the best marsh grass that I have seen. And deep within the marsh where virtually all trees are dead, I find myself drawn once again to the quality of the bark texture. Look at this, my friends. And now we find ourselves in a pine forest with a different set of trees and a different kind of grass. And once again, I'm noticing top-notch variety and bark textures. Does this not resemble a true forest? And my friends, if one could be reluctant to label the tundra grass as beautiful, there is no problem with such labels here. This grass is a vibrant green, and still the variety the variety of plants contained herein, it is quite clear to me the level of thought and attention to detail that went into this grass mod is really quite astounding. And keep in mind, I am not running this with Origins of Forest, so once I enable that in my load order, it shall become even that much more spectacular. And my friends, the Reach is relatively sparse in its own grass distribution, which I suppose is appropriate for the region. Yet what we have is still delightfully green and is unique to the area. There's not much to be said about the trees because they all mostly look like this. But once again, my friends, by the nine, that bark texture. Look at it. These dead reach trees have never looked this good. And finally, my friends, there is perhaps no more fitting environment for dead trees than the cold, snowy regions of Skyrim. That's right, they fit in quite nicely here, don't they? Ah, oh, good day, Faldris. Now, let us have a look at the snowy region's grass, shall we? No, 
No, we shall not. Because, for the Cat Mojo Unique Grasses mod, Clofus has removed all instances of snowy grass. Or, or so he claims, I certainly haven't found any. And I'm not quite sure how I feel about that, honestly. Although, the snowy grass does tend to be the least quality of all the grass types. That being said, I suppose I will not miss it. I remain Kolar the Unkilled, and as always, thank you for watching.